I'm going to demonstrate how to insert a Dexcom sensor. First of all, I'm going to make sure that my hands are clean, so I'm going to have washed those, and that the area that I'm preparing the sensor on is also clean. The equipment that I need is my sensor applicator, my Dexcom transmitter, and an alcohol wipe. The Dexcom sensor can be inserted into the abdomen and it needs to be done horizontally. I'm going to demonstrate on this demo pad here. So the first thing that I need to do is to clean the area for insertion with an alcohol wipe to ensure that the sensor sticks. I also need to make sure that I clean the transmitter as if this isn't properly clean, it may not transmit fully. I then need my sensor applicator. So the sensor applicator consists of the sensor, the transmitter latch, the collar, the plunger, and this is the safety guard. So the first thing that I need to do is to remove the adhesive backing from the sticky tape. and then place that horizontally onto the skin. We then just need to ensure that the sticky tape is stuck down securely. When you attach the sensor to the tummy, you need to make sure it's at least three inches away from your insulin pump cannula. So now I'm going to remove the safety guard by simply pulling it out. And we're going to save this for later as we use it to remove the transmitter at the end of the session. To insert the sensor, you need to pinch up the skin, place two fingers above the collar and your thumb on the end of the plunger. Push the plunger down and pull the collar all the way back. This can sometimes feel quite stiff, but you need to pull it back as far as it goes. What we need to do now is to remove the applicator. So we need to squeeze these ridged areas together here, rock the sensor applicator forward, and then we can place that over there. So you need to make sure that the transmitter latch is flush against the skin. So I'm just gonna push that down gently there. And now we need, we're ready to attach our transmitter. So we take the Dexcom transmitter and we need to insert the slimmer end away from the transmitter latch. So we just slip that in there. And now what we'll need to do is to support around the skin and using your finger, push down firmly to clip the transmitter into place. You'll see now that the transmitter latch has popped up. So what you want to do is now twist and pull that away to remove it. Now you want to ensure that the transmitter is in properly. So as you can see, this transmitter has been properly inserted and is flush to the sensor. You may find that the transmitter doesn't sit very well into the sensor casing, as you can see here, where this corner is slightly raised up. All you need to do is press down firmly until it's all clipped into place. The sensor lasts for seven days. So at the end of the seven days, simply peel the transmitter away from the skin like a plaster and place it on the table. To remove the transmitter from the plaster, you'll need your safety guard again. Place this on the wide end of the transmitter and push down firmly to release the transmitter from the sensor. You'll need to save the transmitter as you'll need this for your next sensor. This can then be discarded. So finally, we need to dispose of the sharps, putting the sensor applicator into the sharps bin. And that completes how to insert a Dexcom sensor.